increasing marginal cost and diminishing marginal profit, part of our week three videos on supply. In this video, we're going to discuss another way to define marginal profit, and we'll also discuss how marginal costs and profits depend on quantities. From week one, we know how to define marginal profit, or we know one way to define marginal profit. And I'm going to give you 10 seconds to kind of think about what that definition would be. From week one, we would define marginal profit as the profit of the next unit sold. That's our definition of marginal profit. But we can also determine marginal profit another way. We can subtract marginal cost from marginal revenue, where marginal revenue is the revenue from the next unit sold or the selling price. In other words, if we wanted to use mathematical notation, we'd say that marginal profit equals marginal revenue minus marginal cost. And so this is another way we can define marginal profit. Eventually, as quantities increase, marginal costs must decrease. If that weren't true, we would see in society just a couple large corporations that produce many, many, many things. And that's not what we see in our society. So marginal costs must eventually increase. However, as quantities increase, price stays constant in most cases. And why that is, is reflected in video 3.3 and the ways we define a market of perfect competition. So marginal costs increase, but marginal revenue stays constant. What this means is, if marginal profit equals marginal revenue minus marginal cost, and marginal costs rise, and marginal revenue stays the same, it must be true that marginal profit will also eventually decrease. We have a term for this. We call this diminishing marginal profit. Now, diminishing is a common term when we do marginal analysis, not just in this case, but in a couple different places, including diminishing marginal benefit, diminishing marginal utility, and the controversial idea of the diminishing marginal value of a dollar. So these are all ways in which we use diminishing marginal. And so I wanna take a moment right now to be clear on what diminishing means in these cases. Even though we say marginal profit eventually diminishes, we eventually have diminishing marginal profit, it's still true that marginal profit is always positive, or maybe that it's just non-negative. So as quantities increase, there eventually becomes a point at which marginal profit starts to decrease while still remaining positive, and that's where we have diminishing marginal profit. In other words, the key thing to take away is diminishing marginal profit does not mean negative marginal profit. It just means that marginal profit uh, is uh, lower, and so if we think about total profit, like the sum of all the different marginal profits, that total profit is still increasing, but just increasing at a slower rate. And that's what we mean by diminishing marginal profit. So we can derive marginal profit by subtracting marginal costs from marginal revenue. As quantities increase, marginal cost eventually increases. Of course, this means that marginal profits eventually decrease in what we call diminishing marginal profit. But this does not imply that there's ever negative marginal profit. Thank you.